It's uh, me, the reluctant vlogger. Back again. It's been a little while. Mm. Still smoking? <laughs> Live long and smoke. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I haven't vlogged in a while because I recently lost my job. I was half fired and I half quit. And I'm not completely jobless because I do work for myself. Um, I clean houses and offices and stuff like that. And I worked for a company and now I just have, I have my three clients that I clean for and um, I'm just trying to build my business. But yeah, lately I've been a little in a funk, kind of stressed, feeling weird, but no big deal. Um, so I thought that maybe I would um, do a little segment of, about artwork again. And I'm going to go back in time to when I was in high school. Uh, as I look through some of this stuff, and uh, some of it's good, and some of it's not that great, and some of it just makes me laugh. Um, but I thought I would share it with you. Um, I'm 26 years old, so I did all of this stuff when I was about 17 or 18. So it's all 8 to 9 years old. Um, and, it's, and it's pretty worn. Some of it's pretty faded. I gotta relight my cigarette. Hopefully my camera won't cut me off, but um, here's one. I did have a guy playing polo on a horse. I remember working really hard on this. I still never really got his leg right. And of course I was so focused on the horse that I did absolutely nothing with the background. Like there's like a cheesy bush. Like, you know, it's like totally not convincing. Like there's my sunshine up there, you know, like, you know. I was never very good at capturing things like that. I'm not very good at realism, anyway. Here is a super old, folded, nasty, faded, still, still life. If you're ever in art class, you know they put those, you know, whatever, a bunch of junk in the middle of the table. You know, in this case, it was a plant, birdhouses, and some bowls that you're supposed to draw from whatever angle you were sitting. Um, it ended up being pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't look as cool as it did. And, uh, so then, we get to, this is one of, that I really like. <laughs> I made it with the, uh, there's actual cards in there. And then there's a silhouetted girl made out of cards. I uh, actually really like, um, I like cards. <laughs> I like playing cards, I like poker. Here's one with the uh, hands. It's like the genie hands with some text back there. It's um, it's actually, what's back there is an excerpt from the book Shogun by like James Cavell. Um, that's an excerpt I maybe I'll share with you on the next, uh, the next vlog because it's really awesome. And then here, I kind of messed this one up, I remember this, because I really like drawing flowers. Oh, it's pretty good at drawing flowers. But I covered them up with paper and stamped butterflies on, on top, so you kind of, like, can't see the flowers as well. But it's still pretty cool. You see how much time I got left? All right, good. And then, here's one that's nice. It's a watercolor. The chicken and turtleneck. And the sun is made out of beads. I actually kind of like that one more than I like some others. And again, here's another flower. It's a, I did a series of flowers in high school, I can remember. In my junior year, I think. Maybe senior year. And then, here is a just a uh, um, I forget what they call it. But you would take a rubber stamp and you would cut, you draw a face on it and cut some of it out and then you'd stamp it. And then you would cut a little bit more out of the stamp and use another different color and stamp it again and then do that a third time until you had sort of this three layered color effect on a face. So that's cool. I like doing that. That was fun. There's another one in different order. And then, this is another stamping effect. Uh, we made the stamps out of cardboard, I believe, and then just painted them. I like that one because it's happy. 
it's just, uh, it's really happy. And... There's one that actually went to an art show. I don't think I actually won any ribbons, um, but I did get some honorable mentions. And uh, this is another thing I like to draw is amphibians. Eh, it's okay. I mean, it's colorful. It is nice for that. Um, it's relatively realistic, but it is lacking some realism. And then this one, it looks amazing, but it's actually an image cut from a magazine. But what is a little bit impressive about it is that her whole face is covered in paint. It's covered in acrylic paint. So I had to mix the colors just right and shade it just right to make it look like that because if I turn it to the side, I can tell that there isn't any of the magazine showing through. So all of that I did paint with my hand, even though I clearly did have a guide of, a, of you know, I had a picture of a person I was painting over, but it is still, you know, it's still challenging. And then here, there's some stuff that kind of makes me laugh because, um, it's not even, it wasn't even for uh, school, it was just stuff I did on my own. And <laughs> here's Goku. I haven't even watched Dragon Ball Z. My brother did, and he had like a book of Goku on the front. I think it's Goku, anyway. And I was like, hey, that'd be fun to draw. Easy, nice, you know, rigid lines. So there's that. And here's your quintessential stupid fairy. Yeah. I went through a little bit of a goth phase when I was 17, and I did all the regular stereotypical goth things, so I like dragons and fairies and wearing black and white stockings and, you know, a lot of black. What if? What if? <laughs> and then there's this chick, who is just her titties hanging out, because, I don't know. Boobies are kind of fun to draw, honestly. Kind of are. I guess they're fun for a lot of things, if you're a dude or a lesbian. <laughs> but I do like drawing them. And last but not least, um, this was for art class, but I, I found this and I absolutely died laughing. Not only is it not that great, I mean, it's okay. I mean, art is art, you know, whatever. It's all good for its own reason. <laughs> but it's like Rihanna. Before there was Rihanna. Bruises and all. <laughs> The black is supposed to be shading, but it looks like bruises. So there's, I mean, I'm sorry. It's a black chick with red hair and bruises. It's Rihanna. Anyway, that one cracked me up. Well, that's all I got for today as far as artwork goes. I don't really have a whole ton of artwork to show you anyway, but in following vlogs, I'll show you some pieces like one at a time that I've actually done recently. And most people kind of don't seem to like it. Well, I mean, not most people. Most people definitely are like, don't know what to think at first. And then they either walk away and don't say much, which is the worst. <laughs> I'd much rather someone tell me, hey, I just don't like it than not say anything. Uh, but actually most, most people seem to like it. Some, you know, for some reason they, they find something good about it. Um, I, I am going to hang out with Tommy tomorrow, and uh, we're going to have some time. We're going to go downtown and all this stuff. Since we're not going out of town anymore, we're going to go downtown, and I'm going to take him to some bars, and we're going to eat, and it's going to be a blast, and we're going to vlog it then, too. So I got like 30 seconds remaining on my camera. Good timing, good timing. Um, so yeah, um, I'm Crystal the Reluctant Vlogger, and I'll catch you next time.